Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about books to read during the winter time. So if you want to curl up under a nice and warm cozy blanket with a glass of wine or a hot chocolate, here are some books you can read which are set in the winter months. So let's get into the books. So I want to start off with two mystery thrillers. These I read recently and both are wood wear books. In a dark dark wood and the death of Mrs. Westaway. Now these books are set in the colder winter months. So it's either raining or mostly snowing in these books. And they are really perfect mysteries to read because they're easy, fast paced reads and they really hook you with the mystery element. And of course there's always a death involved. So uh, I think these are perfect for this time of the year. So first is In a Dark Dark Wood. I really like the setting of this one. It's in this cabin in the woods, really remote. It's in the colder months, uh, winter time. So our main protagonist goes out running in the woods and you can see her footsteps uh, in the snow or, you know, winter is just a part of it in a way. But what I really like about this is that this cabin has these huge windows which look out into the forest. So you almost feel like you're in the forest yourself. Our main protagonist is Nora and she's invited to this bachelor party to her former best friend. So she hasn't seen her best friend since high school and then she's suddenly invited to this bachelorette Hindu party. So she decides to go despite them not uh, having uh, kept in contact for so many years. And then we suddenly find out that the past is, there's some secrets, there's some things happened in the past which kind of get revealed along the way. And also someone dies during this Hindu weekend. And it's like our main protagonist uh, kind of uh, blacked out. So we kind of go back and forth in time to figure out what happened. But this is the really atmospheric, the setting and the mood. And uh, of course the cabin in the woods, it really plays a great role in this, uh, in this mystery thriller. I think Ruth Ware is really good at picking great settings for her books. And just like the next one I'm going to talk about, which is The Death of Mrs. Westaway. Now this is also set in the colder months. It's really wet and it's really... It's maybe not so winter, snow, fairyland-y, but if you live where I live in Copenhagen, Denmark, winter, it's not necessarily a white fairyland here. It's really dark and it's really wet, so I guess is kind of appropriate. You can really feel how cold it is in this uh, great house where it is set. So here we follow a young girl who has come into this inheritance. So she's alone in the world, she barely scrapes by, she lives in a seaside town where she reads uh, tarot cards on the pier in a booth. But as I said, she barely scraps by, it's the winter time, she doesn't have a lot of clients, her mother is dead, she's all alone in the world. And then suddenly she gets a letter saying, one, she has family, which was, I guess, a shock to her, and two, that she has uh, an inheritance she has to claim. So she goes to this house and it's really old, decrepit, so it's almost falling apart. So in this one as well, you have elements like the creepy house, the creepier housekeeper, and then you have the mysterious family and mysterious past. And then you kind of try to figure out what's going on, what happened in the past. Am I really who these people say I am or am I a fraud? I mean, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a perfect mystery thriller. So if you love books set in the colder months, you should definitely pick up some Ruth Ware books, in particular these two. Then, if you like fantasy, like me, and you really want to dig into a new series set in the winter time, I have two series I want to recommend you. And the first one of these is a young adult series by Catherine Arden, which is the Winter Night Trilogy. And it is based on Russian folklore and fairy tales. I think it's the perfect premise for a great winter read because Russia, you know, they have these great winters where snow covers everything. And I think if you want to really get into the winter mood with the snowy fairy setting, then, then this is the perfect one. This is not the Disney version of snowy fairyland. This is very dark and gritty. And that's what I like about it. This is set in a fantasy version of medieval Russia. It is set in the winter time. In, it is, starts out in this very small village where people 
really are part of nature. They live for the summer where they work the land and get most, uh, most out of it. So they have everything to live off during winter time where they all they can do is curl up around the fire and uh, tell maybe fairy tales to each other. This combines fantasy and folklore and fairy tales. In the start, it really feels like you're reading a fairy tale. But as you go on, you really get involved in the story. You expand a bit in the world. You get just immersed into it and you completely forget about yourself. This is a very atmospheric read. The prose is very lyrical. You slowly immerse yourself in the story. The characters are really well fleshed out. Fantasy? You should definitely give this a go. The second series I want to mention is Mark Lawrence's Book of the Ancestors series. Now this is especially good to read around this time of the year because this whole world is a, fr is a world which is frozen over. So basically there's only a corridor around the equator I think which is unfrozen. The rest of the earth is frozen solid. So this is a kind of a post-apocalyptic setting set in a very very distant future where something happened to the moon and which basically made the earth freeze over. So again winter is very much present throughout this whole series and this is much more grittier, more violent, more brutal than, uh, than the previous one I mentioned. Of course this is also for adults. So in this one we follow basically a convent of assassin nuns. So I think what's not to like about that. If you love great world building where maybe not everything is explained, uh, so I really like that there's not a lot of exposition in this one. You just figure things out reading the book, I guess. The really great female characters, female female friendships. There's not a lot of focus on romance, which is a plus for many, I think. But also I love how it is very character focused, but at the same time we don't forget about the plot and action. The last book I want to talk about is The Great Alone by Christian Hanna. This is a historical fiction set in the 70s, 80s in uh, Alaska. So this really screams winter to me. This is a story about a family which moves to Alaska because they want, they want to live a different kind of life, I guess. So it's also a survival story because this family basically goes to Alaska without any preparation, without any proper winter clothes, without anything. So you really get to see how they experience the, their first winter there. And I think it's amazing to see how the community helps these people and they all tell them what to do and, and what to wear and and how to eat and how to preserve everything during summertime to have everything ready for winter because winter this is basically survival and if you don't have anything in your pantry then you can starve so it is a survival within a survival story i think because the father of the family is a veteran of uh, the war. He's been in Vietnam and he suffers from PTSD. He has these violent episodes so the family is practically in living in fear the whole time and they these violent episodes they are, they're getting more frequent and frequent because also when you think about it in the summertime everything is light, there's basically no darkness. So someone suffering from this kind of war trauma has maybe a better time but in the winter time when it's dark and you're closed off only with your family all these all these trauma come back with a vengeance so read this if you are in the mood to read about a beautiful heartbreaking story and really complex characters i really enjoyed it and i highly recommend it so now tell me please what do you think about these recommendations have you read any of these or these on your radar or please tell me if you have any other recommendations based on the books I talked about. I'm really on the lookout for more books set during winter time because looking at my Goodreads read shelf I actually haven't read so many books set in winter and I really love these ones. That's gonna be it for me for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!